we are now looking at question two of paper two 2022 november so that's the final one let's look at 2.2.1 we are asked to use annex j a and let's just look at annex j a so annex j a is a seating plan of a restaurant okay we have a seating plan there of a restaurant again we've got keys so it's important for us to know what our keys are big and small windows chair for one couch and covered stoop so we've got the different um types going on over there note yet again don't forget your notes because your notes give you the important um it says that the main entrance doors are on the south side of the building how do i even know where the south side um is so it means that i need to use the main entrance and i need to know that this is south so they're giving me the, the, the direction using that. Okay. Let us go answer our questions. Give one possible reason why this restaurant has so many windows. Obviously, because it seats a lot of people. So a lot of people are seated. So a lot of people are allowed to be seated within this restaurant. So we need enough A. We need enough A. And also remember with such questions, um, as long as it's relevant, you get your marks. Calculate the maximum number of chairs available for customers. So we need the maximum number of chairs, meaning all of the chairs, um, that are available for the customers. Let's go and see how we are going to find that. So we know that these are seats and these are seats as well. So let's go and calculate how many we have over there. This seats four people. This seats four people. Four people. Um, this is one person. One person. Okay, so these are all ones because we can see how it is actually situated there. And then here we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. This seats six. So that's one, 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 one. That's four people, four people. So we're going to add all of these numbers together. Okay, we're going to add all of these numbers together. This seats three people. Three people as well. Okay. So I'm going to add all of these. All of these are going to be added together there. So let's go just use our calculator. All of these are going to be used there. So we know 6 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So we've got three fives over there. Let's just delete 1. Plus 4 plus 4. We have quite a number of 4s. So 1, 2, 3, 4 plus four so i need to be able to count all my fours okay there needs to be seven fours so one two three four five six seven okay and then i need to add my last six over there i think i did something incorrect there at the end i must have put 44 or something Okay, let's just do that again. So that's 6 plus 2 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5. So that's 3 fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Plus 6 there. And that's 57 seats maximum. Okay, that's 67 seats 
maximum that can be seated. Please don't forget to add your couches as well. That's also very, very, very um, important when you are doing your calculations. So after you've added, you're going to get your 57 people seated. Okay. So when we go down, determine the number of seats directly facing the wall on the south side. So that's a nice clue of what we need to do. We know that the south side is going down. So we need to talk about the seats facing down. So if we look at the seats that are all facing the south side, we know automatically that this one is facing the south side. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and that's thirteen. That's 13 seats. Okay. Give one reason why the restaurant has couches at the entrance. The entrance could be the waiting area. So this could be the waiting area. So wait, people are waiting to be seated. So obviously with this one, it gives us an idea um, of that other question that was asked, meaning that we don't count the couches then. Because remember that this one says to us, um, available for customers, chairs available for customers. So it means that we, in this 57, we, we do not count the couches because the couches are in the waiting area. Okay. Um, a person at table 18 leaves her seat and walks towards her friend. At table four, let's go see, from 18 to four. So my person, I'm going to remove all of this because it's quite a lot. So this person is sitting here in, 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 in seat 18. That's what we are being told. This person is sitting in eight, seat 18. So if I'm sitting in seat 18 and I want to move to seat 4, we need to give compass directions. Okay, we need to give um, compass directions to describe her path. So from 18 to 4, I need you to listen to me very carefully. This person is moving from 18 and they are moving to seat Four. So I'm going to give the directions verbally. Okay, so I'm going to give them verbally. And if I give my directions verbally, it means that this person had to then move as follows. So this person had to move eastly, obviously, because this is south. And if this is south, then we know that that's north, that's east, and that's west. So this person had to move east first, okay? And then after moving east, they had to walk south. And then you can just mention that as they are walking south, they are passing table 17 and they are passing table 7. So you can just mention that. And then that person moved until they reach table 5, be very specific with your directions, it's very important, and then they move easily again, which will then lead them to table four. Okay, so did you see how specific I was when I mentioned that? So they moved east, they moved south, passing table 17, passing table seven, and then east again into table four. Stunning. So be very careful there. Norma claims that there are less than 21 tables for customers in this restaurant. Stay to the reason whether her claims are valid. 
So, Norma says to us um, that there are less than 21 tables for customers. There are less than 21 tables for customers. And we need to say why her claim is valid. Oh, we need to say whether her claim um, is valid. So, is her claim valid? Let us go back and count. So, obviously here we have 21 tables according to the tables that we have been given. And because we have 21 tables out of the tables that have been given, let us go count um, if indeed that is the right one. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So I do not have a table 13. Do you see? There's no 13. Um, it skips all the way to 14, 15, 16, um, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. However, there is no table 13. So Norma's claim is valid because clearly whatever that is going on here, um, the, the numbers count up to 21. So the numbers will count up to 21. So indeed, they are less, okay, because there isn't, there is no table 13. Therefore, her claim is valid. Remember, one mark comes from that. So Norma's claim is most definitely valid. Okay, so those are the questions that we have for that particular question.